Continuing our look at security and permissions, in this video we are going to use PowerShell to examine the current permissions on a file share. File share permissions are separate from the NTFS permissions on the files or folders themselves. So you've probably used some automation or perhaps just a manual process to set the NTFS permissions on the various objects in your file system. But now you want to share those files out and file shares have a separate level of permissions on the share itself. Now you've always been able to manage these with PowerShell, but it hasn't always been easy. If you go out to the web and you search around, you find sample scripts and things like that, and they all tend to involve going through WMI, getting the share settings, and then doing things like this kind of analyzing the access masks to get exactly the right value back and make them pretty and useful. And these work and they continue to work even up to the current version of PowerShell. If I run this now, uh, there's my list of, of, uh, of shares and how they are provisioned. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with this, except it's a little bit complicated and kind of scary. So you'll be glad to know that there's a new way. Here it is, get SMB share introduced in PowerShell 3, I believe, uh, and certainly part of PowerShell 4, this is much simpler. Get SMB share by itself will enumerate the shares available on a particular computer. And if you give it the name of a share, it will, uh, sorry, get SMB share access with the name of a share will enumerate the share level permissions on that share. Much simpler, much clearer. You can see that they are PowerShell objects. So if we take a look at what's returned and all of the attributes available, you'll see that we can uh, work with them a little bit more directly. Again, you see the uh, uh, access control entries are there as well as the, the names of the trustees and the types of permissions that they have. So much easier to use the new commandlets than to go through the complicated method that we've had available before.